morning, everyone. A beautiful and sunny morning to everyone at last. It's true. We are indeed starting today's EEC online conference on ecological education and culture. It's great to have everybody together at last for an entire day of getting to know more about cultivating ecological mindsets and lifestyles. I am Dr. Nikki Carsi Cruz from Ateneo de Manila. I will be your moderator for this morning from 9 to 12 a.m. Manila time in Malaysia, also Central Indonesia, Brunei, and Singapore. And it's a tad bit earlier from 8 to 11 a.m. in Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Vietnam, and Western Indonesia. Thank you all for being on time. We begin with the invocation to be led by the Vice President for University and Global Relations of Ateneo de Manila University, Father Jose Cruz of the Society of Jesus. Father Joey, please lead us in prayer. Father Joey. We Amen. come from and live out different faiths and beliefs. In a moment of prayer, may I invite you to express in the language of your own faith, gratitude for being on this earth and for being stewards of it. Permit me to use the prayer of Francis of Assisi. All praise be, you, all praise be yours, my Lord, through all that you have made and first, my Lord, brother, son, who brings the day, how beautiful he is, how radiant in all his splendor. Of you, most high, he bears the likeness. All praise be yours, my Lord, through brothers, wind and air. All praise be yours, my Lord, through sister, water, so useful, lowly, precious, and pure. All praise be yours, my Lord, through brother fire, through whom you brighten up the night. All praise be yours, my Lord, through sister earth, our mother, who feeds us and produces various fruits with colored flowers and herbs. Praise and bless Lord and give him thanks and serve him with great humility. Amen. Thank you very much, Father Joey. As you know, St. Francis is the patron saint of ecology, environment, animals, and nonviolence. We really need inspiration from him. Thank you, Father Joey, for that beautiful invocation. We would now um, call on the president of Ateneo de Manila University, Father Bobby Yap. Ateneo is the host institution. Father Bobby, please have the floor. Good morning. On behalf of Ateneo de Manila University, I am very pleased to welcome you to the AUNEC Conference on Cultivating Ecological Mindsets and Lifestyles, organized for the AUN Thematic Network, ASEAN University Network on Ecological Education and Culture. There is a growing awareness of the gravity of today's ecological crisis and our young students have an admirable ecological sensitivity and a generous spirit. And some of them are making admirable efforts to protect the environment. At the same time, they have grown up in a milieu of extreme consumerism, which makes it difficult to develop environmentally friendly habits. Universities indeed face an educational challenge. Environmental education must not only provide scientific information, consciousness raising, and the prevention of environmental risks. It must also provide a critique of individualism, unbridled consumerism, and the myth of unlimited progress. Moreover, environmental education must seek to restore the various levels of ecological equilibrium establishing harmony within ourselves, with others, with nature, and other living creatures, and with God. We need educators capable of developing 
and ethics of ecology and helping people through effective pedagogy to grow in solidarity, responsibility, and compassionate care. Effective environmental education must, should also lead our students to make an ecological commitment manifested by the noble duty to care for creation through daily actions, good habits, and changes in lifestyle. From Laudato Si, the landmark teaching of Pope Francis, we can glean three principles which can guide our cultivation of ecological mindsets and lifestyles. First, the conviction that everything in the world is connected. Because all creatures are connected, each must be cherished with love and respect for all of us as living creatures are dependent on one another. We are becoming more and more aware that the COVID-19 pandemic is linked to how humans have abused ecosystems. Second, the intimate relationship between the poor and the fragility of the planet. We need to hear both the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. The poor are the most vulnerable to environmental disasters. The poor are more exposed to the risk of viral infections and the hazards posed by deadly floods, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, landslides, typhoons, tsunamis. Third, we need to shift from the arrogance that we can blatantly dominate and exploit the environment and shift to the attitude of stewardship, protecting and caring for creation, our common home. We need to recognize the mutual responsibility between human beings and nature. We take care of creation so that creation can take care of us with an optimistic hope that our universities will provide an education in responsible simplicity of life, in grateful contemplation of God's world, and in concern for the needs of the poor and the protection of the environment. I thank you for participating in this AUN EEC conference on cultivating ecological mindsets and lifestyles. And I wish you all productive and insightful discussions. Please enjoy a good conference. Good morning to all. Thank you very much, Father Bobby Yap, for your opening remarks. Indeed, in the Philippines this week, we've heard so much the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor because our country was devastated by a calamity. And everything is connected, even our conference um, being postponed several times, I think it only heightens the importance of this conference. It's not just an inconvenience, but drives home the message that this is really important that we get together and find ways to do something. So to welcome us to this AUN EEC conference, we have the Executive Director of the ASEAN University Network, Dr. Choltis Diratiti, to deliver his opening remarks. Uh, thank you, Nikki. Uh, Father Roberto Yap, uh, President of Antonio de Manila University. Uh, Father Jose Cruz, Vice President for University and Global Relations, Antonio de Manila University. Dr. Maria Vinches, Vice President for Loyola Schools, Antonio de Manila University. Dr. Asunta Kukejang, Kukejang, sorry. Uh, chairperson of the ASEAN University Network, Ecological Education and Culture. Keynote speaker, uh, panelists, moderators, scientists, academics, and students, as well as those who view this conference later online. On behalf of the entire AUN Network, I should like to take this opportunity to put on record my gratitude and that of the AUN Network to Antonio de Manila University for especially uh, organizing this uh, conference. Also, I'd like to express my gratitude to the 
Secretariat of the AUN EEC, also hosted by Antonio de Manila Universities, for working so hard with uh, uh, two, two major postponements due to the natural disaster. But finally, we, we have the, the conference going on today with the aims to cultivate the ecological mindset and lifestyles, which is a very distinctive feature of this AUN EEC, in that it, it converge the body of knowledge from science with the public dialogues that aim to uh, create the, the space for, for changes, uh, particularly changes in, in how we live our everyday life in relation to the natural world or the environmental world. I really look forward to, to seeing the success and excitement in today's online activities. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Chualtis Liratiti.